Okay, to use Selenium, we'll need to have a browser installed and a driver and the Selenium library. So I'm going to install uh, Chrome. This will be a completely new install, um, completely fresh on Ubuntu 20. So what we can do, we can first check if we have Google Chrome installed and Google Chrome doesn't come installed with um, a fresh install of Ubuntu or recent ones. So we can do a Google Chrome version and nothing has been found. Um, if there was any traces of a binary we could check for the location and that would be Google Chrome sorry where is Google Chrome and nothing has come up and now what we can do we can download the dev file we can either install it using apt or we can install it directly using a dev file so I will do uh, the dev file so I will do a wget and I will define the folder and I'm going to download it directly to my download folder and I'll put in the address Okay, I think that looks correct. So it's going to go to my downloads folder and I've provided the direct link where to download it from. And that address doesn't look right, so I'll just correct it. Okay. That is a DL dot Google doesn't take too long to download okay that's now saved in my downloads folder now what I'll do is I will install it by using sudo dp KG located in my download folder and the dev file will be Google Chrome just put an asterisk dot deb Okay, so that's now installed, and I can now do a Google Chrome version, and we have installed version 83 and we can also do the where is Google so now you can see where the binary file has been installed um, if there was any traces of a binary we could check for the location and that would be Google Chrome sorry where is Google Chrome and nothing has come up and now what we can do we can download the dev file we can either 
install it using apt or we can install it directly using a dev file so I will do uh, the dev file so I will do a wget and I will define the folder and I'm going to download it directly to my download folder and I'll put in the address Okay, I think that looks correct so it's going to go to my downloads folder and I've provided the direct link where to download it from and that address doesn't look right so I'll just correct it okay that is a DL dot google doesn't take too long to download okay that's now saved in my downloads folder now what I'll do is I will install it by using sudo dp kg located in my download folder and the dev file will be google chrome just put an asterisk dot deb unpack okay so that's now installed and I can now do a Google Chrome version and we have installed version 83 and we can also do the where is Google so now you can see where the binary file has been installed now the next thing we need to do is install the driver so um, we'll go to the driver website to get the latest file that we need to install and to do that I will just open Firefox and I'll do a search for Chrome driver and this is the page that we're looking for that gives us all of the latest drivers so as I did a check for my version I'm on Google Chrome 8.3 and the driver which I'm looking for has to correspond with my version of Chrome so this is the one which I need to download 83 so I'll do that directly within the terminal so I'll just make a note of that number and I'll quit Firefox and I'll 
I'll just put in the address around that to download it. So that's wget. I'll download that to my home directory. And that's where the version goes in the URL when you want to download it directly by wget. And it's a zip file, so I'll just download that. Okay, that looks incorrect, so let's correct it. Okay, I've missed out the dot com. And the driver has now downloaded. So I can just check that. And there it is. So now it's downloaded, I need to unzip it. So that's now unzipped, and there you can see it. Now what I need to do, I need to move it, no sorry apologies, what I need to do first, I need to make it executable. So I'll do a change mod. done and now I'll move it and I'm going to move it to my uh, local share folder check that that looks correct yes it does okay that's now moved and I'll just go into my share folder and there it is Now the other thing I need to do, I just need to create some links.
double check that and it's going to link to my bin directory and just one more Okay, that's now linked. And now what I could do, I can check for my Chrome driver version. And there it is, Chrome driver 83, which corresponds with my version of my browser. Now that I have Google Chrome and the Chrome driver installed, I'll need to install Selenium and I'll be using Python uh, you can be you can use um, other languages like Java which a lot of people do um, but I use Python which is great for Selenium so I'll just check what version of Python I have installed I'm using 3.8. Now to install Selenium you need to install it via pip which is a package manager for Python and if you are on version 2 of Python then you would just um, type pip but because I'm on Python 3 then I will use pip3 so I'll just check, because this is a new fresh install of Ubuntu, I'll just check if I have pip3 installed. So to do that, I'll do a pip3 version. It's not installed, so it's telling me how I need to install it. I can install it by sudo apt, and I'll just copy that. and install it. Okay, that's now installed. So if I do a pip3 version again, I now have it installed and pointing to Python 3.8. So now that I have pip installed, I can just check to see what packages I already have installed within pip by doing a pip3 freeze. And here you can see what I already have that comes with a fresh install of pip. Now what I want to install is selenium so I do a sudo pip3 install selenium. Okay so that's now installed and again I can do a pip3 freeze and you can see selenium is now amongst the list of what I have installed by pip. <coughs> now I have everything installed. I've got Chrome, Chrome driver, and I have Selenium. Now what I can do is run a test. So what I'll do, I'll just 
create a directory for my test and I'll create a test directory on my desktop And I'll call the folder tutorial and I'll call the folder cell short for selenium and I'll just change into that directory and I'll use Vim to create and edit a new file in the current directory hit insert I for insert specify that I'm using Python 3 and the next thing I'll need to do is install Selenium WebDriver or sorry import it import the library And what I'll do, I'll create a couple of variables for my driver. And one for my binary. So to check for the location of the driver and the binary, um, we had previously set it before, but to double check where it is, you can just do a where is Google Chrome. And here is our binary, which we can just copy. And then for the driver location, we can do a where is Chrome driver, and that's our linked location. But the actual file is in local share. and we could come back and paste that okay so the next thing we need to do we need to an instance of Chrome options and then within Chrome options we need to add the binary location point to our variable for that.
So next we need to create an instance for Chrome. And we need to put in a couple of arguments, which is the driver location. And for that, we'll add the driver variable. And then we'll also add Chrome options. And Chrome options is just really a way to add um, settings, like a few arguments, a few settings that you might want to have for the browser. Hence the name options. And then what we need to do, we will grab a page for our test and we'll just put a string in there. And like I did on my previous example, I'll just go to the Internet Movie Database. <coughs> 